So we're going to look at these equations individually. But before that, let's take MATLAB and, uh, and look at the evolution, the behavior of this equation as we draw it. So do you see the fonts clearly enough? Do you see the, what I'm typing clearly enough? OK. So first of all, I need two parameters, u and kappa. So this is to help you understand the behavior of this equation when the right-hand side f is equal to 0. So let's look at our first case when u is equal to 0 and kappa, let's say, is equal to 1. OK, so let's look at this, the behavior of this equation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask one of you to come over here and draw a particular initial condition on the screen. And this is going to demonstrate how the solution is going to evolve as a function of time. So initial condition is t equal to 0. And after you draw the solution, you just uh, draw it from the left to the right or from the right to the left. And this is periodic. So, so this domain is periodic. Whatever is here should also be here. And you should see how the solution evolves as time increases. So can I have somebody, brave person, to come over here to draw an initial condition? Please. Thank you. What's your name again? Happy. Happy, OK. Thank you, Javi. And the solution he draw. What happens? Can somebody describe to me what happens after Javi draw the initial condition? It smooths out. It out very quickly, right? So the solution, Javi, when Javi was drawing the solution, some people was smiling, laughing because he was drawing a very jaggy, very non-smooth solution. And as soon as he pulls the hand. As time starts to increase, the solution becomes smooth very, very fast, right? OK, very good. So Javi, I want to ask you a question. If I don't want that to happen, if I want the solution to uh, decrease, oops, to, to smooth out in a much slower rate, what should I change over here? I think you should lower the value of kappa. I should lower the value of kappa. That's exactly right. So because kappa is multiplied on this second order derivative term, and we are going to see later it controls how much diffusion or how fast, how strong this term is in smoothing out the solution. All right. So, so let's change it dramatically by a factor of 1,000. And can somebody else come and draw a different solution, initial condition and see how the effect is? Please. I almost got a cramp <laughs> Start from the interior of the domain. Sorry, let's. let's uh... Start from the inside and let's try again. Here? Yeah. All right, thank you. So, time is already evolving here, and if you look very carefully, you should see, for example, if you observe here, you should see the solution is going is smoothed out very very slowly right so this here it is increasing slowly and here for example the peak is going to be dropping very very slowly so that's the effect of kappa when you make kappa smaller the strength of the diffusion gets a lot smaller so let's analyze that <coughs> using 
what's called a Fourier series.